when Elizabeth was abducted, do, they, do we think of, of her as being enslaved? She absolutely was for nine months. His daughter was kidnapped, tortured, and sexually assaulted when she was only 14. Now, Ed Smart is on a mission to rescue children from sex trafficking. So is this more common than we know? It is very common. Anytime that you have a, a resort area, more than likely trafficking is going on there. Anytime you have big sports events here in the United States, you know, big football games, big basketball games. So, so, so she's 14? Yes. Here's the thing, does she do everything? If she wants more money, she Smart is working with exactly Operation Underground Railroad, a nonprofit group traveling around the world to save kids forced into the sex trade. This age. And they're this age. A new documentary called The Abolitionists shows investigators rescuing those kids and going after the adult perpetrators. Usually when an operation starts, we start working with the U.S. Embassy. We determine who are the vetted law enforcement agencies that we can trust outside. We go and work with them. Authorities estimate two million children worldwide are being trafficked for sex. Smart says it's happening here, and this film gives parents a chance to speak with their own kids about the problem. When we can help our children understand, here is a line in the sand, and this, re this represents what is and isn't acceptable. And when that line is crossed, regardless of who it is, Here's what you can do. For Smart, this project is personal in honor of his daughter who survived the unthinkable. 13 years ago next week, right? Is that when Elizabeth was taken? Um, it was. I'm sure that every year around June 5th, I try to forget. You do, you do. I How try to forget it that, you know, March 12th is the one that we remember. Yes. Which was the day that she came home. And that miraculous return and how Elizabeth has moved forward is something Smart wants for all who are abused. How's Elizabeth doing? Elizabeth is great. She just had a little baby girl oh, about three months ago. That's great. What's um, her name? Chloe. And we're, we're just so excited. And you know, we want all of those people that have been victimized out there to be survivors, to be thrivers, to find their dreams, find that new hope in life.